Greetings, peoples of the interwebs, Jake here, and it's not time of week again for Warner Brother Woes, because, like, this is not a real segment. I really just feel like every other week, it seems like something comes out of Warner Brothers, that someone's dropped out of a movie, or the movie's been pushed back, or delayed, or canceled, and, you know, we all know this. Um, I'm a little late, just because, you know, I haven't, I haven't posted... Um, but, so here you go. Uh, so yeah, we all know that Ben Affleck has now dropped out of directing the Batman movie. Which is a big disappointment, because, you know, say what you want about Ben Affleck and, you know, his, his career and all that stuff, but he is an incredibly talented director. Uh, I would argue a better director than he is an actor, although he's, you know, he's a pretty good actor, and he was one of my favorite parts about Batman v Superman. Um, he was, I thought he was a really good, both... Bruce Wayne and Batman. And then, of course, you know, him being the big Batman fan that he is, saying that he was going to direct the Batman movie, write, and produce it, you know, obviously in Star, I was kind of like, well, hey, that's a winning combination, because, he, you know, he is a, an award-winning director, uh, an award-winning writer, because he helped write Good Will Hunting. Um, so he's an overall very well-rounded guy, and someone like me who's not been that impressed with the DCEU so far. Uh, I love Man of Steel, not crazy about Batman v Superman and Suicide Squad, though I enjoyed it. It's a very flawed film, um, and honestly, not even that good in just in terms of you know filmmaking and all that stuff. Um, but the Batman movie was one of the things where people like me, who are not that crazy about kind of the direction stuff like that with the whole DCEU, we were kind of like, well, hey, that's going to be good though. We at least have that to look forward to, even though the other movies, who knows if they'll even happen, like Flash. That's supposed to come out next year in March. That's not happening, because it's back at square one. Um, which I did a video about that uh, a week or two ago. Um, I can put that in the description below. Um, and then, as most of you know, already know, about a... Again, a few weeks ago I did a video again when Ben Affleck was first kind of like, yeah, you know, if the script isn't good, it's uh, it's not a sad thing if I'm going to direct. Um, so I'll, I'll probably, if, if I remember, link that in the description below as well, if you all haven't checked that out. Um, so it's just been this huge flip-flopping roller coaster of emotion, uh, emotions um, with the whole DCEU. Um, it's like they get you excited with these trailers and some of the news with like some of the movies they're gonna do or some of their ideas, and you're like, yeah, cool, DC's, you know, they're stepping it up and Warner Brothers know what they're doing, and then it's like three people leave The Flash, uh, Ben Affleck just keeps going back and forth on whether he's gonna direct or not, and... Now it seems like for sure he's not going to do it, and I'm almost at a 50-50 chance that since he's not directing, and he even has been quoted saying, yeah, if the script isn't good, I'm not going to direct it. So, I mean, he also said in the most recent um, interview that he, you know, the reason why he's stepping out as director is because, you know, playing Batman... Uh, you know, writing and directing takes a lot of energy and focus, which makes sense. It is an incredibly strenuous, you know, uh, job and commitment, especially a big uh, budget movie like this. That's at least like a two-year commitment to, you know, write the movie, uh, go into post-production or pre-production, uh, you know, shoot the movie, direct the movie, and then post-production, you know, so he's, he'd barely have any time for anything else. Um, so I get that, you know, from that standpoint, I would get you'd want to step down so that way you can give it your all, more so in the performance, which was kind of what he was getting at. And I, I, I understand that, but at the same time, the dude acted and directed in Argo, which won Best Picture. And I know that Batman and Argo are two different movies, but even still, it's like, come on, man. You directed and acted in a movie that won Best Picture. I think... You can probably do it with Batman as well, which is more reason why I think the studio just keeps, like, pressuring him, like, knocking at his door, like, hey, Ben Affleck, how's that Batman story going along? You gonna do that, Batman? Because we need something to fill in the Flash void, because that's not happening on time. Um, do the Batman, like, right now. Just start on that right now. Um, and he's kind of, you know, again, he's a perfectionist. He wants to do this right. And so I think they just keep kind of nudging him, and he's getting frustrated. And he's just like, fuck it! You know, whatever. If they're just going to keep, like, pushing me into doing this, um, I'm not going to do it. Um, and so I feel like if they just... Again, he said he's still committed to, to you know, writing the movie, uh, producing it, and starring in it, but apparently Chris Terrio um, is 
rewriting the script, uh, which he wrote uh, Argo, um, which won Best Picture. But he also wrote Batman v Superman. Uh, so, and he's also writing the Justice League movie. We'll see how that turns out later this year. But um, the whole thing with him, though, because originally it was Jeff Johns and Ben Affleck writing the script for the, the Batman solo movie. So now that Chris Terrio's involved, it kind of makes me think maybe that's why Ben Affleck is stepping down because... Uh, I don't know, maybe the studio didn't like Ben Affleck's script, and they're like, no, 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 we're going to get this guy to, to write this now. Or, maybe it's one of those things where he's not completely rewriting the script, but it's just a touch-up, as, uh, as is the case with a lot of movies. Um, you know, they go through rewrites. You know, after the finished script, they'll send it off to someone, usually a bigger writer, um, to just kind of touch it up and, you know, add some changes and all that stuff. So maybe that's the case... But if, it's, if he's just doing, like, you know, a complete rewrite or even doing, like, half of the script rewriting, and that does not bode well at all. So, I just feel like regardless of what the situation is, this is not good. Um, not good at all. And it is incredibly frustrating for us fans of these, you know, DC characters. Um... And, you know, even regardless of what you think about the DC movies, whether you love B, uh, BBS, Suicide Squad, whatever, that's fine. But I just feel like it's hard to deny that there's clearly some internal issues going on at Warner Brothers. I don't know how or why, because Warner Brothers are actually a good studio. They've produced a lot of great films. Why they can't seem to, like, get their hands, like, get a good grasp on the, these DC movies, I don't know. Um, I mean, even look at their track record before the DC Cinematic Universe... It's very hit or miss. About, like, half their DC movies are good, the other half are total garbage. Um, so, I, I don't know what the deal is uh, with Warner Brothers. Um, I mean, I know there's, like, a massive difference between, like, you know, Warner Brothers and Marvel, um, which that that's a whole video entirely on trying to explain that difference, um, which I could, I could do if you all want that. Um, but basically, even still, even with the differences, it's still the fact that, like, okay, you clearly appointed Jeff Johns is kind of like the head honcho, kind of the Kevin Feige type to oversee all this. Let that man do his job. Let your directors do their job. Let your writers and everyone else do their jobs and just oversee it and make sure everything's going smoothly. Rather than kind of being like, oh, you should do this and do that and all this and stuff. Because um, that's one of the reasons why BBS was kind of a cluttered mess. Because um, the studio were the ones who were like, add Wonder Woman in there, add the like Aquaman, Flash, and uh, Cyborg in some form or fashion. We don't care how, just shove them in there. Um, and that kind of took me out of the movie. Even though I liked Wonder Woman, I think she fit the most um, in, in the movie. But it was still kind of... I don't know, it, it's just like all these weird, there's just too many cooks in the kitchen where basically one exec will kind of be like, oh, you should do this, and another one will come in and come in and almost have a contradicting uh, suggestion or notes and be like, ah, no, scrap that, you should do this instead. And so, ugh, I hate it. I really do. Um, because as a fan of DC Comics and the characters, it, you know, it, it's incredibly frustrating because there's no reason these movies shouldn't be great. There's no reason they shouldn't be able to compare to the level of the Marvel movies. Um, because DC have a rich, vast, like, gold mine of, res of, of source material that you can easily, you know, maybe not directly adapt, but just kind of, like, take elements um, of certain storylines, like in the Marvel movies, where they don't directly adapt any of these uh, stories from the comics, but they take elements, enough to kind of give a good um, backbone, or whatever, a good structure for the movie, and then they kind of do their own thing, and it's been working. Um, but again, same thing for DC. Instead of take like, or not do what they did with Batman v Superman, where you, they took elements like you know Dark Knight Returns, uh, Death of Superman, and all like they took five stories and shoved them into one. Don't do that. Just take like elements. I don't know. I, I I'm not a writer. I'm not pretending to to you know say I could do a better job. But it, I am kind of getting to the point to where. A lot of us could probably do better jobs, at least in, like, format, because clearly Warner Brothers don't have a plan with their cinematic universe. Um, they're just kind of 
throwing shit at the wall and seeing what sticks. Um, and that's not what you want to do, especially for a massive franchise, especially a connected franchise. It needs to be cohesive. It needs to flow together very well instead of just being like, okay, here's like 12 movies we're going to do. Oh, that movie didn't didn't meet, meet expectations. But what people did like, they liked Harley Quinn. Let's do a Harley Quinn movie. People like Deadshot. Let's make, make a Deadshot movie. We got The Rock. Uh, he he wants to do this movie, fast track the Black Adam movie. Yeah, we're not even, he's not even gonna be in Shazam. We're gonna push like push that back or whatever and just do sh Black Adam. What the hell is going on? Like I I kind of understand what they're what they're trying to do, but they're doing it in the wrong way. They're just rushing things, and again the lack of plans and oversight from someone. Um, they're just scrambling about, and people are like, that's a good idea. Let's do that. And Get your shit together, Warner Brothers. Because, again, you're a good studio. You've done great movies. Why can't you just, like, take a step back and let this DCEU just kind of breathe a little bit? Um, and, again, let your directors who you hired to, like, envision their movie, let them envision their movie the way they want to. Instead of, like, jumping in, like, midway through and be like, no, nope, change all this, add this and do that and all this stupid nonsense. Um, so, I really like I I, I want to be optimistic. I want to be hopeful about this DCEU. Um, like you know, Wonder Woman still looks great. I've not really heard anything negative coming out of that movie. Um, I want to think Justice League will be great. But that being said, until I see those movies, I'm I still just can't be that excited about the continuation of DCEU. You know, I, I kind of just have to take everything at face value. Um, I, and again, I wish I could be excited for the, the continuation of DCE, like the Shazam movie, the Black Adam movie, um, Justice League 2, and all the other movies that they said they're going to do and want to do. But at this point in time, with all these internal issues, I don't, I, I just can't get excited. Um, and it pains me to say that, because again, I love DC Comics and I love the characters. Um... And again, I, I, would, I want them to succeed, both financially and critically, so that way we can keep living in this amazing golden age of, like, comic book movies and just pop culture. It, it, this renaissance, really. Um, you know, Star Wars is back, and better, you know, better than ever, so to speak. Um, and again, you know, all these comic book movies, not just from, like, Marvel and DC, but some of these smaller, um, you know, companies and stuff like that. And... That's one thing you have to realize. Whether you're a DC fanboy or Marvel fanboy, you need the other to succeed for this to continue going. Uh, you know, even in the comic book world, if DC Comics went like belly up and under, it would still affect Marvel um, and all comics in general. Whether it be like you know Dark Horse, Image, Vertigo, whatever, uh, it all they're all just they affect one another. Um, so even if you hate DC still support DC, like, root for them, just so that way we can keep living in this golden age of comic book movies and just nerdy awesomeness. Because, um, my God, it's great, for the most part. I, you know, some minor disappointments with some of the movies, but overall, it's pretty great. Um, but, yeah, uh, man. For fuck's sake, Warner Brothers. I... I don't know. I'm at a loss for words. Um... But it's really frustrating, um, and that's kind of why I've been doing these videos. It's not me trying to bash Warner Brothers or DC. It's my frustration because I'm such a fan of these characters and the storylines and the comics and all that stuff that I'm expressing my frustration in these videos. Um, so, you know, if you're one of those people who's, who's seen some of you know, these videos and you think I'm just, like, a DC hater, that's not the case. Again, I'm just frustrated and I want nothing but the best. But I've yet to get the best. Um, so if, if, but also on the flip side, you know, if you're like a hardcore DC fan and you still believe the DCU is gonna work, please, for the love of God and all that is great in this world, convince me that I should still be hopeful for this. Um, because like I said, I'm just not. I wanna be, but I'm not. However, if you can somehow convince me to still have hope and that there's a, like a shining light up in the sky of hope and greatness for the DCEU please leave your comment below on how that's possible because it's not happening right now 
tell you that. Uh, I think that wraps up my kind of rant frustration video here in Warner Brothers and their continued struggles and problems. Um, hopefully you all enjoyed this and agree, or even if you disagree, that's totally fine as well. You know, just, you know, let's have a civil conversation on our differences. Um, but also, before I wrap this up, um, so we'll be, do we'll be uh, doing our first annual Pasty Awards, which is basically our version of the Oscars. Um, we'll be recording that tomorrow, um, Friday, February the 3rd, as of now. Um, so that should be a lot of fun. It'll be a chaotic mess. We'll see. Um, but look forward to that. Um, I'll, ho I'll hopefully be able to upload that maybe over the weekend or something like that. Um, so keep your eyes on that. And, uh, you know, if you have uh, your choices for, like, best picture and all that stuff, kind of just Oscar type, you know, best actor, supporting actor and all that stuff, you know, submit that, you know, in the comment section, um, either on this video or when, when I upload the Pasty Awards. Um, and also just, you know, like us on Facebook, Pasty Hill Productions. Um, I'm actually, you know, what, I, what I'd like to do is kind of put, like, exclusive content on the Facebook page. That way it's not just, you know, kind of there for, like, kind of promoting some of the videos and upcoming things. Uh, but maybe do, like, live stream, like, the Facebook Live thing. Um, I don't know, I might do, like, trailer uh, reviews or something like that. Just, I don't know, I want to try and do, implement the Facebook page for something else other than just kind of updating you all on what's going on with the channel. Um, and hopefully entice you all to like the, the Facebook page more, um, or drive you all very far away. We'll see. Um, but if that takes your fancy, then go like us on Facebook. Uh, also follow us on Twitter at PaceyPal Pro and kind of the same thing, you know, news updates, all that stuff going on with the channel. Um, follow me at Irishman Jake. Um, tweet me your thoughts on things. Um, and some other upcoming projects and stuff like that going on with the channel, which, um, you know, throw around either in another video or possibly even on Facebook. Um, get an exclusive drop on upcoming things that might be happening here on Facebook Productions. Um, but I think that pretty much wraps up this video. Hopefully you all have enjoyed and you know, again, please leave your comments below on what your thoughts on the DCEU are, whether it's good, bad, what it means. Um, are you hopefully optimistic uh, or are you very pessimistic and you're kind of like, nope, they're sailing a sinking ship. Um, I really am just curious to see what your thoughts are and hopefully again we can have a civil conversation in the comment section and not just you know hateful comments and all that stuff so until next time everyone cheers